Hello, welcome to another episode of Ark Survival Evolved Mobile. I'm Dr. Tukara, and in today's episode, we have something very special, guys. This is about two years in the making, in the planning, in the wishing, uh, but it's gonna. It, now is the time. I, I feel like now is when we should do it. We are. We are. We have a sponsor. You know, we're sponsored by Ark Mobile. Uh, I think we should do what we want to do. We're gonna build a city. Uh, so let's start with the simplicity of it. Uh, we are over near Herbivore Island. We are at Lava Cave. Welcome to Lava City. Uh, so starting on my dock, um, and I'll explain the dock when we get to that point. But let's take a look. We have some foundations. I haven't done a lot yet. We're just getting started. Uh, so let's go ahead and move on down to the end and we'll talk about what's going on. Hello. Okay. So here's Lava Cave right through there. You just keep going and you're going, you're in the Lava Cave. Okay. So house number one, 101 on Lava City Lane or Lava City Boulevard is my cottage right here. It's very simple. Um, I do have my main base, so but when I'm here, I do have a house. Let's go take a look at it real quick. It's not special. Uh, it's just I'll, I'll decorate it a little bit, and we'll show you that. But I have my basics for for crafting and doing things for this city because we are building it right now. Uh, let's go up top. My walkway goes around to a landing pad and slash garden up here. I'll probably put a garden up here as well. Uh, look down here. All right, this is my backyard. My backyard is simple. It is for storing dinos when I'm here. It's like my parking lot, my private area. And every house is going to have it. Every house is going to have a main, a main house, and a backyard for parking their dinos and things like that when they're here. And some people may choose to live here permanently. Uh, there will be a dino limit if you live here. Uh, so just remember that. I'm going to go over all the rules and everything for the city uh, as we go along. Let's take a look here. Let's start right here. All right, this is City Hall. Everything's going to be painted. These are not going to stay plain like this, especially because they kind of blend in. I want them painted. I'm going to do something with it. So 102 is City Hall. Now City Hall is going to have, it's got a pin lock. It's the, the typical uh, public pin locks for all of my servers that have been. It's 1111 and it'll get you inside. This is where you pay your rent. Rent is due every Friday. Uh, so I'm going to have inside those rent boxes will be your rental agreement so you'll know what you need to do. Uh, the bad thing is, uh, you do if you if you choose to live here and you're accepted into the city and you, uh, you do have to pay your rent. If you don't pay your rent, you're getting locked out and you lose all your stuff that you put here. So don't do that. This is for people who want to play actively. Uh, this is our courtroom slash meeting room up top, like City Hall should have. I'm thinking about putting a jail cell right there. But we also need uh, need some filing. I've got a few things to do in here. Actually, do I have it right now? I may have it now. I do. Will it fit? Yes, 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 yes. Okay, perfect. That'll work. All right, so this will be... That'll be for... Kind of like if you walk in and this is... Just, the clerk or whoever works at City Hall. Right, let's, put, let's move that right there. And then I can put... Uh, prob probably need a couple of bookcases. Can I make those? Do I have enough? Probably. Uh, structures, wood, storage. Yes, we do. Uh, storage box, bookshelf. Let's craft two of those. Two should be enough. One's probably enough. Uh, we're going to go over the plan for this place. Uh, actually, I probably need to be up here. Let's put, put one there. And then put one here. Perfect. Oh. Perfect. I like it. So if you walk inside, you'll see the clerk's office right there. and there, there will be copies of your rental agreements in there, including your password for your house. Uh, because I am building everything, that means I have access to your home. Uh, and if you can't trust me, then you can't trust anybody, to be honest with you. So, um, I don't go in your house, but I do have access to it if I need it. So, uh, we need to, like, especially if I'm evicting you. Um, so, let's go over here and take a look. We've got my two, my government building and my house. 
we're going to have four houses. One, two, three, four right here. These houses are for people to live in. They will be multi-story with backyards. Uh, next video, you will see those built. Um, so let's go through here. All right, so after the first four houses, those are all four for rent. Here, we're going to have a, like a cafe where you can come in, you can cook, you can do what you need to do. Um, like a little restaurant type thing. Uh, over here is going to be like a, the blacksmith shop where you can craft things that you need to. If you, if you don't have what you need, uh, and because I'm building it, houses won't be fully equipped. I mean, they'll have a lot. Almost everything you need will be in this city. But you won't be able to add things. Uh, the only downside is, let's go ahead and skip forward to the dock. All right, so if you rent a house here, you cannot, ha you won't have access to a bed, so you can't spawn here. However, what you can do is build yourself a raft with a bed, and you will park it at the dock. That is included in your rental. You can just park your little boat here, and you can spawn to your boat, and then go right to your house. So it will work. Uh, so the way the houses work guys, let's go back to any of them. Let's go to this one right here. This house right here All right, your door will be locked with a passcode that only you have uh, It'll be in your rental agreement You'll have that nobody else can get in except me of course uh, And everything inside will be unlocked that I'm not gonna I'm not gonna put a how uh, a password on everything because that might get annoying for you. I think it would be easier if it's unlocked. If it's a problem, I will put your personal passcode on everything in there. But I don't think it will be. Everything will be unlocked. So getting into your house will just be your passcode. And then you unlock your door, you go in, you can you know, craft and do whatever you need to do. Uh, and that's going to be on every house. Everything's going to be different. Let's go here. And the same with these. The, the public buildings like the cafe and... Uh, the um, the blacksmith shop they will have public passcodes on the doors so everybody can get in there to use them even if you don't live here you can come through bring your supplies we're not gonna give you you know free stuff to come and build whatever you want you need to bring your stuff but if you don't have a fabricator or whatever uh, you can use it you will have access to it and the same is gonna be for all the tools here okay so here is gonna be our public garden uh, and probably some over here but right here I am looking for donations. People are going to have to help me build the city. I don't have everything. I can't do it all. Uh, but I do need some eerie element to craft a uh, tech replica, uh, tech uh, teleporter so that we can do dungeons from the city. I mean, obviously, you can go right there to that obelisk and do them, but it would be cooler if we could do it here. So I'm saving this spot for a tech teleporter and maybe a garden built around it. I think that would be cool. This spot is very nice. Uh, this is going to be our barn, our barn, our breeding center. Uh, it will have a, a, a little backyard out back. Hopefully people are going to breed here. Uh, they are set their dinos to breed and uh, leave them on there so we can give dinos away. <clears throat> That's my plan. This is for, this city is basically for people who like to run dungeons, caves, or breeders. Anybody, you know, who wants to do whatever. Okay, so this is my the most interesting part. This is the apartment building. There will be four apartments in here. Uh, all for rent. So uh, in total there will be eight homes for rent here. The people can come and live if they want. And I, I'm pretty happy about it. This one's going to be look different than the rest of them. It's going to have a more modern look to it. Um, and all the other houses are going to look kind of like cottages. So I, I'm, I'm kind of excited on the styles I'm going to use. This is going to be for reviving tames or taming. Uh, you can just stick the... Is, I think it's already unlocked. Yeah, it's already unlocked, so people can put a, uh, an implant in there and revive using this. I need to put a fence around it so you can revive something here and uh, tame it if you need to, or revive some of your tames that died. Now, I do know that I have a neighbor right down the, the beach here. Uh, right, I don't know if you can see that. You can kind of see a little bit right there. There's, I can see a gate right there. We'll see... Whatever was going on down there, they brought, they were, they were offline, but their dinos brought a, a Bronto in, and they were fighting, and one of their dinos died right there. So, uh, one of their little dillos is, is dead, and it died right here, and I was watching. I killed the Bronto, but it was too late. I couldn't save the dillo. It was too late for him. But, um, you can revive things right there. 
um, as we if we decide to expand, like we could have a marketplace or a flea market or whatever a mall, we could build one of those on on either side there or there. You know, probably there that way. Go that way. There's nobody out that way. Uh, and as always, the rules are very simple. When when you're building, you can't build near me, guys. Uh, especially with what we're doing here. If you're within render distance, see, right now, technically, that spot is in violation of the rules because it's render distance. I can see their stuff. If I can see them, they can see me, uh, and that means it could lag out the game. So that's why we have that rule in place. Um, so, if it, for those that are interested, I know some of you have already asked me about it. Uh, when... As of tonight, I'm posting this video tonight, which means at least two uh, of these houses, hopefully two of these houses will get built tonight, which means if you're available tonight, you can, let me grab this, you can technically rent your house tonight if you have, it's going to be one of the first two. I'm going down the road here. These are going to be built first. It is first come, first serve. So whoever, whoever gets here first. Uh, pays their rent and can move in and then they can uh, you know start doing what they want to do So that but you do need to be a member of discord. I will not be able to give you your password if you're not a member of discord So make sure you're a member of my discord and you can find the link to my discord on my YouTube page uh, either at the top of my page or on the about me page They're both in two, do two different locations there for you to easily find and I ch I'm going to tell you, I chose this place. We, you know, we, we did a video talking about where we were going to do it. Well, this is the spot we chose because it's. I just thought it would be cool to be right at a cave. We could go right in there and run this. This is where you get a, an ascendant pike from, a, a nice pike, um, among other things. But uh, I thought it would be nice to be here. We're on the beach. Uh, we've got to make sure things can come over the top, but we will have some defenses, I think. We should be pretty safe, but there could be an occasional Rex come through, you know, things like that, but unlikely. Or a rampaging Bronto like we had earlier. But if it does, it's fine. We'll deal with it. But we will start rentals. Um, people will pay their rent in the city hall, and uh, I'll collect it. All the rental, you know, what you what what it requires for rent will be on the rental agreement. It'll tell you what you what you can pay with. Uh, and I think it's going to be a lot of fun. I'm very excited about it. It's been a long time coming. Uh, so hopefully it will be everything I've hoped it was going to be. And I, I'm probably going to move one of my yachts over here that from my, uh, my main base. I need to add a few chairs here so we can fish from the dock. Let's see what is there. How deep is it right here? Okay, so look at all the fish, guys right there look at look how deep it is right here so it could, be, uh, it could get interesting with the fishing right there I had an issue with that rock right there but we survived and I think it's gonna be a lot of fun I can't wait for this I can't really I, I can't wait to get breeding I think I'm gonna bring my eerie um, eerie Equus over here and let them start breeding here as well that way I'll, I'll kind of have them in two spots really but I don't know what else we're going to breed, but that'll be up to the, the individuals who rent here. If you rent a house here, you breed what you want to breed. Uh, nothing big. Uh, and all the limits and all the rules will be written. Probably down, uh, let me go down here. At the very top of the street down here, I'll probably put uh, the rules right about here. With, at the There's going to probably be a welcome sign or something. Right, Probably right about here. And it will list the rules. It'll probably be multiple big signs. Uh, so you can't miss the rules. So, I mean, you'll know. If you live here, you'll know anyway. But I'm very excited about it. I'm going to get started right now, as a matter of fact. So uh, let me know if you want to rent a place. Just, uh, you know, post in our Discord channel. Uh, you'll have better luck e either posting a comment to this video or in Discord than you do sending me direct messages because I don't read a lot of those because I get too many of them and some of them get weird and... Uh, it's just safer if I don't do that anymore. Uh, so just make sure that uh, you uh, let me know what you want. And if you're the first one here, you get to choose the first house. Uh, you can see right here how it kind of lines up down there. 
most of these houses, some of them, they'll probably be taller than mine, actually. I don't need a big house, but I don't know what you guys are going to need, but you're probably going to have about two to three floors, two minimum. So just prepare for that. You'll have plenty of room, I think, especially if you want to live here part-time or full-time. You can do either one. <coughs> but uh, I'm ready to get started. I'm excited. So I'll see you here. So that's going to do it for this episode. Be sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.